Video game developers put a ton of time into a game so that it feels good to play. Or at least they should, it's kind of important. Sometimes though, developers go that one step further and add tiny details or animations that are just so damn satisfying to experience. In today's video, we're going to take a look at 15 of the satisfying details or animations. Now, if you watch a lot of my videos, you probably will have seen some, if not all of these details or animations before, but that doesn't mean that they are any less satisfying. As always, I'm interested in hearing what details or animations you find satisfying, so be sure to leave a comment down below. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, let's start with a detail that is satisfying, but will also make some of you cross your legs. Trust me, you'll see what I mean. It's not often that you get the opportunity to go back in time and exact some revenge on one of history's biggest monsters. But in Sniper Elite 3, you can do just that. In the Hunt of the Grey Wolf mission, you're given the chance to take out Adolf Hitler. Now, as tempting as it may be to put a bullet between his eyes, if you take aim at his meat and two veg, this will happen. So it turns out that Hitler really does only have one ball. Like I said, it's definitely satisfying taking out the evil dictator and revealing his lone testicle. But if you can watch this and not wince just a little, I'd take my hat off to you. Now, if I'm being honest, this entire video could have been Red Dead Redemption 2 details and animations, and I don't think many people would argue. The game is full of the sort of details that just leave you feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. My personal pick of the bunch, though, is a detail that I'm still amazed at to this day. If you shoot the bottom of a boat, this will happen. Of course, if you did this in real life, the same thing would happen. But I just find it so satisfying to watch the boat slowly fill with water. So on paper, this next detail isn't likely to get your pulses racing. But that doesn't mean that it's not satisfying. The janitor is a key character in 2019's Control. But instead of admiring his supernatural abilities, we're here to applaud his cleaning. The oldest house is a large sprawling building that must be a nightmare to keep clean. Well, the janitor isn't one to take his job lightly, as on several floors of the oldest house, you can see this. So those marks on the floor are from where the janitor has been cleaning. It's an incredibly small detail to add to a game. This next animation is one that if you've played the game, you would have definitely seen before, but may not have noticed. In the excellent Resident Evil 4, when riding a gondola with Ashley, whenever you take a Gonado out, she will do this. So Ashley will do a little fist pump whenever you shoot a Ganado. It's such a small detail that a lot of people who have played the game may have never even noticed it before. Well it's that or you may have been focusing on the murderous villagers looking to tear you limb from limb. Either one. Now so far the details that we've covered are all satisfying in some form or another. But this next detail is not only satisfying but also practical. In the world of The Last of Us 2 you will find more than one abandoned safe. As expected, the majority of these safes are locked, requiring the combination to enter. The thing is, if you're the lazy type, you don't actually need to bother finding the combination. If you listen closely, you can hear a specific click when the right number is selected. Take a listen. Do you have any idea how satisfying it is to crack a safe in The Last of Us 2 without the code? The answer is very. It's very satisfying. Next up is another Naughty Dog game. This time it's Uncharted 4 with a detail that's kind of similar to the GTA 5 and Red Dead 2 details that we saw earlier. 
When Nathan finds himself in a shootout at a market, cover is pretty limited. In your panic, you might duck behind some bags of seeds and spices, though this cover won't last for long. I just find the way that the grain falls out of the bags to be so satisfying that this detail had to be included in this video. Next up is a detail that may actually affect your in-game abilities, though if you needed this many shots to hit your target in the first place, perhaps your abilities aren't what you thought they were. In 2018's Insurgency Sandstorm, if you repeatedly fire a high caliber weapon, this will happen. So your character's ears will begin to ring, probably due to the high-powered rifle you've repeatedly fired without wearing your military-issued earmuffs. Now, regular viewers of this channel will know that I love a good video game pool table, and perhaps the king of all video game pool tables is the one found in Deus Ex Mankind Divided. You see, to be an exceptional video game pool table, it's no good just letting players pot the ball. You need to accurately portray how a pool table works. In Deus Ex Mankind Divided, when you pot a ball, this will happen. So when you pot a ball, it won't disappear into the void. Instead, it'll eventually make its way into the table, ready to be used for the next game. Like I said, not all video game pool tables are created equally. And as things stand, this is the best of the bunch. So from a young age, we're all taught that stealing is wrong. Or at least we should be. However, if the world has been invaded by an army of underground monsters, I'm sure the rules around shoplifting would be relaxed just a little. Well, in Gears 5, there may not be people around to enforce the rules, but that doesn't mean that the anti-theft technology will let you fill your pockets with freebies. In the bookshop, you can find a book that is one of the game's collectibles. The thing is, when you try and leave the shop with your newly acquired book, this will happen. I love this detail because so often in video games, we go around and pick up everything we see without a care in the world. But not this book. This book should have been paid for first. Now, the Hitman series has always had some really cool details, whether it's the way that people will slip over if you remove a wet floor sign, or the way that Agent 47's weight is revealed to be 47 when stepping on scales. The game is full of tiny little things that are likely to make you smile. My personal favorite example of such a detail can be found in Hitman 3. During 47's trip to Argentina, you can find a dapper looking gentleman having a smoke. If you pay close attention to the cigarette, you can notice something pretty cool. And so, the burning question in the upper echelons of corporate America is this. Has Morgan Jason Cohn finally run out of steam? I am Pam Kingsley reporting live from Mendoza, Argentina. Okay, so the cigarette does randomly reset itself, which I'm guessing is a smoker's dream. But the fact that the cigarette is animated at all is incredibly satisfying. The penultimate game for today's video is Marvel's Spider-Man. This game truly makes you feel like Spider-Man. To make you feel like Spider-Man, or to make me feel like Spider-Man. Coupled with gameplay that made me feel like Spider-Man nearly every step of the way. See, even IGN agrees. A big reason as to why this is are the game's many tiny animations that help the web swinging feel incredibly fluid. My personal favorite animation from Spider-Man can be seen whenever Spidey needs to navigate a fire escape. Oh my god! Come on, you can't tell me that's not cool. It really does make you feel like Spider-Man. So the final detail for today's video can be found in the excellent Batman Arkham Knight. 
Early on in the game, you interrogate a thug who of course gives up everything he knows. After Batman is done with the goon, he breaks his wrist and gets the Gotham PD to pick him up and take him back to the station. When you next return to the station, you can find him in his cell, and he seems awfully brave now that there are bars between him and the Dark Knight. Let's show him that he's not safe. Hey Batman, I guess Scarecrow gave you the slip. You broke my wrist for nothing. He's got plans for you, Batman. You and all your friends. Tonight's the night we finally break the bat. Ooh. Now, whilst that is satisfying, the unlucky thug doesn't seem to have learned his lesson, as when you next pass the cell, he again starts giving bats abuse. Don't worry though, we can do this. Things not working out the way you planned? I told you. Never faced anything like this. You can't tell me that it's not satisfying to get your hands on someone who has been talking smack about you, and doing it as Batman just makes it 10 times better. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs and hidden details in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing, as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.